Jones' kick is good. And that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. So they get the field goal, but that was a 14-play drive to get three. You sound like you're going negative on me. I was. I was. Sounds like, sounds like you're thinking the three is just not that good. And people say that we're negative sometimes. <laughs> so. Well, here's the deal. <laughs> Getting the three is good. Obviously, you would think on a 14-play drive you're going to get six out of it. But that type of a drive can pay dividends later on because you might wear the defense down. And he'll make it across the 20 as his guys will set up shot at the 23-yard line. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. Tie ball game, still a little more than a minute to go in the half. The question, can they put something together here, try to take that lead into intermission? I would have to think that would be the goal for sure. I don't think you sit on anything here. Here's your opportunity. Push it downfield. As you mentioned, it's a tie game. So minus a disaster on your part, you've got that in your back pocket. Go ahead and try and get some points and feel great going into the half. Two chunk plays in a row. The last one was over 20 yards, and so is this one. Now wins. And that's complete to Jeffrey. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 20 seconds to go in the first half. Second down, Wentz flushed out right. And that will be incomplete with a clock down now to 13 seconds. He was trying to find Deshaun Jackson that time. But now it's third down. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Wins to throw again. It's complete. It's Sproles. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. From the red zone now, wins. Got a man open, it's Ertz. Touchdown, Philadelphia. <coughs> In the final seconds of the first half, and the Eagles have taken the lead. So they're able to break the tie just before halftime. Now they just don't want anything crazy to happen on the ensuing kickoff. Yeah, they want to just add the extra point. Get the kickoff taken care of and get to the locker room with the lead that they fought so hard to get. That'll be taken in the end zone. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half, he'll just take a knee and they'll bring the football out to the 25. Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. Likely time for just one final play, and then it'll be off to the locker room to talk about how they can erase this deficit. Yeah, and I think a lot of people look at it and go, well, maybe you take a shot here. Maybe you get some momentum going into the half. What's the flip side of that? You do something crazy, quarterback gets hit, ball comes free, and now you're down an even bigger margin. Go ahead and take this one. Go to the locker room, start over. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. Out there, ready for this next drive, the Redskins offense. They're down here, but very much in this game. What's the tonality of a coach's talk? when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission. Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. 
sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. Let's see how that recipe works. Mm -hmm. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. He was looking for Paul Richardson there, but now it'll be third down. How about the defensive effort from both of these teams that we've seen in this game? Would you say it's like a high-stakes chess match right now? Uh, chess is one way to go. Uh -huh. Yeah, I like it. Okay, the only reason I say that, you feel like they're contemplating their moves before actually making one, and none of them being done very confidently. Truth be told, I've never played chess, and I know that I'm not smart enough to play chess. Guys like you with your IQ, you can pull that off. Check, check, stand off! Third and long, it's Smith. That's going to be caught by Richardson. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Give him 22 yards, and that's also where they snapped it from, the 22. Here we go, here we go. 70, Indy. On first down, this is Geis. And some room to work. And he is into the end zone for a Washington touchdown. Darius Geis, 56 yards. As they are an extra point away now from tying this football game. Extra point good by Hopkins. And we are even at 10 apiece. So we're right back where we started. All even as the kick's away. Fairly short kick, taking it to 14 here. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. offense set to begin their next drive and for them a touchdown their last go around obviously they'll be hoping to do that again and when you start plotting for this drive when you start thinking to yourself okay what are we going to do you don't go away from what you did before because that worked but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments so now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards Shotgun now for Wentz. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Ryan Kerrigan picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Okay, you know my bias is about to come out here. A lot of people think that the offense is just moving in the wrong direction. I'd say they're moving in the right direction because the defense is pushing them back. Former defensive guy. Now as a quarterback third and long, you really got to rally the troops here, don't you? Yeah, you do in a big way. And what else do you have to look out for? More pressure coming at you because it seems to be working pretty well. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. Here's Cameron Johnston now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Fielded just inside the 20. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And it'll be Redskins football now with a first and 10. The Washington offense at the line and ready to roll. The last possession, these guys were able to tie the game with a touchdown, and now they'll have a chance to move out in front. Yeah, let's give a big assist to the defense who got the ball back. The special teams went out there, handled things. They've got it. They've got momentum. I know they're eager to get out there and put it on display. Now a nice play defensively on first down as this is knocked away and incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. Smith hands off to Geis. And he's going to get about seven yards on that one, up to around the 33. 
And that was a really nice run there to bring up third and short after the incompletion on first down. It's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. Smith on third down. Jordan Reed has it. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the drive alive. On first down, it's Smith. Complete. Richardson has it. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. Ten yards there. Good for a Redskin first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Washington. Darius Geis, his second touchdown of the afternoon as his guys are able to regain the lead. Well, this offense only mustered three points in the first half on that field goal. They picked up the pace now, two third-quarter touchdowns. Hey, you remember that appearance we had last week in front of that crowd, and, and they asked yeah. about halftime adjustments and all that that was going on. And remember what I said, it's not always an adjustment at halftime. Sometimes just remembering the game plan and playing better, tuning it up and just working through it methodically, they got it done in this game. Of course, I'll always remember that appearance because I had on a brown belt with black shoes and you pointed that out in front of the crowd. So thanks for that. I said that out loud? You did. Ah, my bad. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means they're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency, move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. Yeah, just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. Four yards the pick up. First down. Wentz off the fake handoff to Howard. Sliding out of the pocket. And that one not to be. It's incomplete. So they couldn't hook up as time has now run out on this third quarter of play. Back now at FedEx Field. It's the Eagles behind on the scoreboard, but with the football here as we start the fourth quarter. To throw again on second down. Wentz. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision-making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. Big play coming up. Here's third and ten. I would expect to see some pressure here. And the blitz does come. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Ryan Kerrigan able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. Wentz going to throw. A battle for it, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Landon Collins. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. On fourth down, that turned out like a punt. Maybe he was better defensively there just to knock it down. And you know they go over those situations. All right, fourth down, where's the ball? Where would we get the ball? But instinct takes over, and when it's in the air, they just go and get it. So it's hard to get on him for intercepting it, but the smart play would have been what you suggested. Knock it down and take over in a deeper position. And credit the tackle to Derek Barnett. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Now a give, right side, it's guys. The Red Sea parts, and there he goes. Touchdown, Washington. Darius Geis, 68 yards. And the Redskins are able to stretch the lead out further. Go ahead and give him the hat. 
trick. He's been in the end zone now three times. You, you toss your fedora first, okay? You go ahead and...